This is our brand new home, a 57 foot narrowboat we called Morning Star. We're Paul and Anthony, and this is Dexter. Our new home allows us to explore the beautiful canals of this country, enjoying the countryside and the nature. We love our new home and so does our dog Dexter. Thanks for watching and welcome to Narrowboat Life Unlocked. Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. To all those new subscribers, a big welcome. And if you've not already subscribed, please do. It really does help our channel out. Thank you for all your questions you've sent in as well for our Q&A, which we'll be doing in about a week or two. And I didn't tell you this, but Anthony has mentioned he may be up for doing a live chat, which would just be amazing. I've wanted to do this for ages. So thank you to all those people that told Anthony to do one, a live chat that is. Well, this week's vlog, we head from just north. We're still in the Stockport area of Manchester. And we start our journey at the beginning of the 16 locks up to Marple Junction. And we're just north of Marple Aqueduct. Um, a lot of hard work, but we had a lot of help from Glenn. So Glenn, a massive thank you. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks, Glenn. We'd been at Hortondale Nature Reserve for about two weeks and we were running out of water and also, as you know, the Canal River Trust allow you to stay a maximum of two weeks in one location. Sometimes the restrictions are a bit tighter and you're only allowed 48 hours. But as it happened, we had the 14 days, which we really enjoyed our time there. And we needed to get water, carry on our journey and also uh, get rid of all of our rubbish, which we did do at the services at Marple Junction. We could only stay 48 hours at Marple Junction, so on next week's vlog, we leave Marple and we head towards Furnace Vale, and it's an absolutely gorgeous day, so join us on next week's vlog as well. Well, thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. We start this week's journey just north of Marple Aqueduct. You can just make out little old me at the top, just operating the locks while Anthony waits with the boat.
this is the point where Glenn joined us and it was so good to have his help. Ask him. We'd never come across this system of gates before and they were really unusual, you had to duck to get under them and then they were really low when you came to close them. I did like them though. We were only at lock number six but we were exhausted and it was time for a coffee break and this is Glenn's lovely dog on the right, Penny. And this is Dexter of course. Thank goodness. <laughs> We're at lock 13 out of 16. Glad you've been amazing. Thanks for your help.
This was the last lock of the day as we reached Marple Junction and you can see how tired I'm getting. And Glenn, bless him, walks all the way back for his car to give us a lift back to our car. It was quite late when we arrived at Marple Junction but we filled up with water and got rid of our rubbish and then found a mooring spot for the evening. And this was the very next day. Well thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the vlog this week. Uh, hopefully Anton will be with me next week, in fact yeah he definitely will be with me next week, I've just remembered. But uh, yeah, thanks again to all those people that subscribed, if you haven't already please do. Uh, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, give Dexter a like if you enjoy seeing Dexter and don't forget to keep your comments coming we really do love to get all of your comments I'd just like to say a big thank you as well to our two new patrons and they are Sandra and also Kimberly Smith Rutledge thank you so much you two well thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the vlog and have a great week see you next week <laughs>